Yo, what's up guys? So today I'm actually going to upgrade the switch which I have for this beast. This is my Threadripper 2970WX, I guess. It's 24 core second gen or AMD CPU which has around 32 GB RAM DDR4 with the speed of uh, 3000 megahertz and you yeah, have a cooler I have two GPUs one not active so it's red in color when the GPU it's not active or if there's no power connected to it it will be show red so let's keep that in mind it's a small tip and uh, yeah I'm going, to, I'm going to unbox this I'm going to show you what I'll have in this later for another video so don't forget to subscribe to see that and then I have my switch over here there's an old connection here but then I removed it off and so this is from my main router this is on top over there so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to replace that that is the 10 base that is only going to 100 megahertz megabytes per second that is max and this is a thousand so small simple because no more I don't need a lot of clients on this this is just the main what do you call pull the the what do you call the second station is actually down so it just repeats down and then it shares it over the whole network so yeah uh, let me, let's upgrade this it's really simple this it's my Jitsi server which I had tried out using static IP it's actually, actually fun but then I had to unplug it just because you know unplug it just because of some other connection I wanted to add to the network plus so uh, yeah so let's get back to this thing very simple first trace the power socket sorry trace the power socket back to its origin that is your and then off it always off it remove the power connection out go back to your switch remove this connection out this is the power to it this is the ethernet port because mine is one gig i have set it up in the settings in the properties of this windows 10 and yeah so and this is the cat 7 cable which i had Oh, oh, my road is going to fall. So this is the CAT7 cable, don't forget that. CAT7. Looks nice. It's so fat, man. It's thicker than CAT6. You know, I'm like, wow, that's good. Uh, that's what she said, but... <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, joke aside. Uh, let's connect this thing back. Oh, wow, this is a stressful event. So I'm going to connect this to... Wow. This is going to be a mess. Okay, I'm going to connect this. Come on. Are you kidding with me right now? Okay, never mind. Uh, I would already, already prefer you all to see this. Okay, perfect. And... Perfect. Connected. This is the CAT7 connected to the gigabit switch. It's not POV, okay? Because it's not managed and it's not POV. Because look at this. POV, it will be more fat and it will be more in a metallic structure with ground to it. And this one is going to connect. Okay, all good. Let's power it on. Okay, okay. And it's going to... Okay, boot, whatever. First few seconds. Perfect. There's a link. Link is coming in from here. Perfect, perfect, and Ethernet connected. This is the power indicator. This is one, two, three, four clients. Perfect, all good to go. So, Ethernet is active over here because you can see this point over here. It's back of the PC. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. And <laughs> comment in the description below that what you all thought about this kind of upgrade. Till then, take care.